Well, hello and welcome. Uh, surrounds are a little different this time. Here we are at the Al Halal Stadium in Saudi Arabia, where, uh, just outside of Riyadh. When Newcastle United are training over my over my shoulder there for their warm weather mid-season training camp, and it is warm weather. It's a damn sight warmer than the last time we spoke inside St James's Park after that that victory over Chelsea. Uh, yeah, Newcastle will spend the next the next four days here. Uh, culminating with a game against uh, Al Halal not far from here on, on Thursday night. And a little bit of news so the group training over my shoulder there behind me, interestingly, doesn't include Alexander Isaac. Now, Isaac is here. Uh, he is working on the grass, but of course, he hasn't played since injuring his, his thigh on international duty with Sweden uh, back in October. Now, the hope was. Uh, that Isaac could be involved in the, the pre-season matches either this week or, or the one just before Christmas against Valladolid. Now, uh, looking at what, what I can see there behind me, we haven't spoken really how yet, but I would say it's probably unlikely that he features He features on Thursday. Bear in mind, he isn't, uh, he isn't warming up with the main group there uh, there behind us. But we'll bring you more news on that later in the day. So, you know, log on to, to, to Mail Online, Daily Mail tomorrow, Mail Plus, and keep across my, my social channels as well. But yeah, I just thought I'd bring you a very little quick introductory video. Uh, of the, of the team training there behind me and give you a little spin around the a little spin around the surrounds and we'll go for a go for a little walk and interestingly there are quite a few of the, the younger boys here I think you know Newcastle have got five players at the World Cup so five of the younger players have came in Lewis Smiley among them uh, Alex Murphy who I've spoken to you about before been very impressed with him uh, Dylan Stevenson uh, Jay Turner Cook and, and, and Joe White as well so uh, you know Joe White as well I've spoken to you about him before in terms of I think he's got the potential to perhaps, perhaps step up and be the next sort of Elliot Anderson who breaks into the fringes of the first team. So it might be interesting to see them uh, see them in action on, on Thursday. But but yeah, here they are. And one interesting thing as well to note is that there's a huge presence here with Newcastle in terms of commercial and marketing stuff. I think they've brought brought close to a, a hundred club personnel all told. And if you notice just over my shoulder there, I didn't think you can see, but I don't know we'll see, but there's an STC advertising board now. STC uh, is the biggest mobile network provider in Asia. It's not very good. I can't get a signal. Uh, yeah, I don't want to get in trouble. I take that back. Uh, but uh, yeah, they uh, they are due to announce if it hasn't already been announced a new uh, a new commercial partnership with Newcastle. Now it's not anything huge like a like a shirt sponsor, but it's interesting that that is another another Middle East and another Saudi company on board and that deal has been sort of finalised in the in the last couple of days so you've now got Fly Saudi, you've now got STC and it wouldn't at all be a surprise during the next six months to a year to see one of those if not another uh, Saudi based company emerge as the emerge as the new shirt sponsor but the players training there we're just starting to have a passenger right behind me so we'll have it we'll have a little wander backwards. Uh, yes so I think this trip is as much about some solidifying and building upon that connection between Newcastle United and the, and the Saudi owners. It was interesting, the players went out for a meal last night and uh, Yasser al Rahman, the, the, the chairman, appeared and I think he spent about 20 minutes with them, gave them a, a little bit of a speech as well. So, uh, so yeah, uh, interestingly as well, we've just seen uh, Dan Ashworth here. Uh, he was deep in conversation with Eddie Howe and, and with Jason Tindall. And movement-wise, I suppose the question you all want to know, you know, what will what will happen with regards to recruitment in January? Well, I don't expect Newcastle to do a great deal of business, but if an opportunity presents itself, are they able to act? Are they willing to act? Yes, but it's not a month in which they're going to go out and, and chase signings like they did, like they did 12 months ago, because they had to. That need just isn't there anymore. But you know, could they bring forward some summer recruitment if a if a deal financially presents itself? Yes, absolutely, and I probably expect to see it most perhaps one out. Uh, and, and, and one in. So, so yeah, plenty of news to, to, to come from this camp over the next few days. So stay tuned. As I said, Daily Mail, Mail Online, Mail Plus. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Just a quick little update, uh, quick little update from the Al Halal Stadium here. Take care. Thank you. Bye bye.